Welcome everyone for the step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the charts on Philia's prop firm. Let's not waste any second and dive right in. So let's start directly inside the Philia's dashboard as it will be for a fresh account. Now let's go for the deep chart 50k account. So we have four options here for the 50k fundamental account. Let's go with the deep chart and the OTP account and use the coupon code to secure your discount. Now, once the payment is fully processed, we can click directly at the top to come back to the dashboard. We now have the newly registered 50k fundamental account for deep chart and we now have the credentials for the Volumetrica account because deep chart is powered by Volumetrica. So from here, the first thing we need to do is sign the agreements. We'll click on the deep chart web platform button. We'll be requested to sign the agreement for the first login so let's click on sign the dx feed agreements will be redirected to the dx feed website and let's choose i am non-professional to have the free data feed otherwise you'll have to pay the extra professional data feed fee so let's go from here and then you will have to enter all your personal information and once it's done you can click and read the agreements and click the three boxes and after this submit okay Okay, so now that we have signed the agreements, we can access the deep chart platform. So let's start by clicking deep charts web platform on the dashboard. So you'll get the welcome message and you can watch the introduction video if you want to. The first thing you want to do when coming for the first time on the deep chart platform is on the top right corner with all the settings. So first you have the multi-click setting. We recommend either having the one click or the one click compact. We'll go with the one click compact here. It's for the trade panel to place your trades directly with one click. It's way easier. After this, you have the settings where you can change directly the notification type if you want to have the notification when others is submitted or filled only we'll go with field we'll keep the default setup for now you can close it and now we have the theme let's go with the filias blue theme which is obviously the best one because it's matching the dashboard so now that we have the theme set up let's dive into the platform so on the left corner we can choose the instrument to display right here we have all the instrument you can search also the symbol you can also change the time frames very simple change the different displays of the chart where whatever you like you can go deeper with the settings and change everything now we are going back to the candlesticks perfect after this you have all the indicators the indicators very simple you click add and then here here you have all the indicators and you can manage this on every chart opened. We are going to close. Now property is uh, basically your all the settings you want, everything. So you can go deep into the different setup. And finally, the template, if you want to save a specific layout setup, uh, colors, everything, indicators. Uh, it's uh, here that you can add a new template, enter the name and save it. You can change it anytime you need to. Now, if we go right below it, we have the quick active symbol list. So if you want to switch between different symbols very fast, instead of going here on the top and finding the right symbols, you can add your custom list. Uh, so it's easier for you to switch between them. Now, if we click the next button, you'll find the detach window. When you click on this, you're going to open the chart in the full screen. So you'll most likely use this setup to trade and have the full screen set up. Now, if we continue to the right side, we have the layout display. If we want to have different setup, like four screens to display four different instruments, or if you want to change as you wish. So let's go back to the Filius dashboard. So now let's continue the presentation with the right side of the chart. So we have the watch list here. So you have your watch list symbols that you can set up as you want to. You can also change the instrument on the chart by directly clicking on the symbol you want to. So let's do with micro ES. You can see you can directly change it from here. Let's come back to the ES. Let's close it. And now let's have the accounts. So here you have the accounts available right now that you have. We only have one currently. You have the report where you can select the day and have the full report and the historical trades. So 
here are the trades we are going to build. And here we took a few trades just to take some tests and for you to have something to see. So you can directly see all the trades you took from here. Now, if we come back to overview, we can have the pending orders if we have some directly for each account. So it's very useful and very easy to see all the accounts you have and manage all your orders. So let, now let's close the account tab and go with the workspace. So workspace is very simple. So if you want to set up a different type of layout, so let's say here, we want to have two charts with maybe we want to have on the right chart the MNQ. And here we can save the layout in the workspace directly at the new layout uh, to charts. Save and here we have the layout if we want to come back to it. Now, if we want to go back to the first one we had here and now go with the two charts, you can switch between them very easily. And you can save them back here if you want to save the new layout for a specific workspace. So let's go back to the simple layout now. Auto save if you want to just save the workspace you are currently in. All right, now let's go right below it with the toggles. We have the trade panel that you can toggle to see your account balance, your PNL of the day, your open trades. You can select the quantity, buy, sell, bid, ask, limit orders, stop orders. Be very careful if you are not used to this type of setup, go with the multi-click Trade, so you don't make any mistakes. But if you have some experience, better go with the one click option. So here you can set up your stop losses, your take profit. Now, okay, for the trade panel, you can open the dome. Same thing, you can trade directly from the dome. Very simple, very straightforward. We can place an order. We are going to remove it, but you can place your orders directly from the dome. And finally, the time and sales, if you want to display it. Now, if you have multiple charts, you can display them for every chart. So let's close this and let's take a trade for the example. Let's, let's go along with the market order. Now we have the order field. We got the notification. And here, basically, what you can do is set up your stop losses. If you didn't do it before the, the trade, you can select the stop loss and place it here. Now you can close the position directly by clicking on the cross or going flat here. And that's basically it. You can set up all your trades directly from the trade panel. Now the left side is all your charting tools. You can set up your lines, your boxes, your text, everything as you would have on any trading platform though, so you can discover it by yourself. And lastly, what we have are some already set up indicators. So if you want to have volume candles, we can also have the daily volume profile, which is displayed on the left side where you can find the volume distribution for the day. Next is the Delta volume profile. So if you want to see the Delta at every price level for the day, we have the weekly volume profile, the weekly volume Delta. You also have some composite volume profile and finally some daily VWAP directly displayed with the different standard deviations. And you can hide them if you want on the left side here so you have a larger screen and finally the last feature that will interest most of you guys is the trade copier so you will find it at the top of the chart trade copier off by default you can click on it it will open the trade copier panel so for this obviously you need multiple accounts for it to work so you have the tutorial directly inside the trade copier and you can set it up once you have multiple accounts it's very straightforward very easy to use and very accurate and reliable so it's amazing to have all these features directly inside the platform now that's it for the presentation of deep charts inside your dashboard but you might also want to download the platform and have it as a desktop app directly on your pc so for this we'll go back to the dashboard by clicking now that we are back here we can directly go deep chart web and go to download the platform you want to open it as a new window so it uh, doesn't close your current window because we are going to need the username and the password so it will open the login portal for the deep chart web platform and we can go to 
login, you can copy paste directly your credentials and go for login. So the first time you are going to log in the web platform, you'll be requested to choose your trading platform and be very careful what you choose because it's going to be definitive and you can only have one free license for the platform. You will not be able to change after you make the choice. So. So for most people, deep chart will be the best choice because it's exactly the same as the platform we presented, but you will have it on your desktop and you will have even more advanced features. Now, Deep Dome is different. Deep Dome is more like a heat map if you are familiar with book map. And finally, you have two more options, Atas and Quantower. But if you made the choice to go for deep charts and have the web platform, you will most likely just use the two options for you at the top. So if you are interested in using a platform like Bookmap and have a heat map platform, dedicated heat map platform, then you might want to go with Deep Dome as it will be your only desktop platform, but you can access Deep Chart as a web platform too from your dashboard. So you can have both actually, it's the only way to have both is to have Deep Dome as your desktop app and Deep Chart directly inside your dashboard. But if you want to stay with Deep Chart, it will be for most people the best choice. So let's go with Deep Chart. Now you will have this download page where you will be able to download your deep chart platform with the license key at the top. You have all the tutorials to all the different setups you can have on deep chart. So it's even more advanced than the presentation we just did. Okay, so that's it for the first steps presentation of deep charts, how to set it up, how to take your first trade. This is very simple and straightforward directly inside your dashboard. And now you can even have it on your mobile and your desktop. If you have any more questions, just post them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer all of you guys. It was William for Phileas Pro Firm and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.